and you thought M1 was powerful. That was just a joke, I love this. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Granite Geek Show here on the Lotta Quinte Ledger Network. I'm your host, Chris Grant Jr. And today, yes, we've got leaks regarding the M1X chip, the beefier variant of the chip we've seen in the Mac Mini, the MacBook Pro, and the MacBook Air. We're gonna look at what was leaked, where it came from, and then I'm gonna play with some numbers in order to predict what kind of performance we can expect out of this thing. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss an episode as we cover your favorite tech and video games it's the Granite Geek Show. So the news comes courtesy of Twitter account Leaks Apple Pro, which has been pretty reputable, pretty accurate in the past. They're claiming that this M1X chip is going to have 12 cores with eight performance cores and four high efficiency cores. That's double the amount of performance cores that we've seen in the M1 regular version. It's also saying that we're gonna get our hands on this chip for the first time in the 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is only the second generation of that 16 inch form factor. And according to people who have gotten a chance to play with it they're saying if you think m1 was fast it's because you haven't seen the m1x the leak also reports that the m1x name is not finalized but i'm pretty sure that's what they're going to be calling it considered that's what they were doing with the iphone chips now one thing that was absent from this report was really any information on the gpu i made a video about eGPUs with the new m1 mac mini so i'll leave a link somewhere up here and definitely down in the description but what i'm thinking they'll go with with the m1x chip is definitely a dedicated gpu i don't see them doing a 16 core gpu or something crazy like that they've done a great job with the integration graphics in the M1 regular chip. Um, I've been using the Mac Mini for a little over a week now and it has done everything I've needed it to from editing 4K videos, etc. But I definitely think Apple's going to go with a dedicated graphics card this time around. Now what the real question is going to be is are they going to use their own Apple Silicon GPU or are they going to open it up to AMD or Nvidia, most likely AMD. Nothing has been confirmed officially but I can almost guarantee Apple's going to go with their own dedicated GPU instead of AMD or Nvidia. And this is why M1, the entire movement has been about making it the most efficient ecosystem you can with their own chips, their own hardware and their own software. I think doing a dedicated GPU and using some of the other guys would be a, a step backwards, a step in the wrong direction. They've already shown they can make ridiculous integrated graphics. So I'm pretty sure they're confident enough to try their hand at a dedicated GPU. But not all hope is lost if you got an eGPU. I'm still holding on to my Sonic Breakaway box with a Radeon RX 580. Um, I do think that they will open up these higher tier devices to eGPUs. I think that'll be coming in an update pretty soon, probably announced with these new machines. But now let's get into these numbers. What kind of performance can we expect from the M1X chip? So there were two main ways I went about getting this ballpark number as far as performance. The first thing that I did was take the highest Geekbench score from the M1 Max, which was about 7,388. I then divided that by the amount of cores in the M1 processor, which comes out to 923.5. I then multiplied that number by the amount of cores projected to be in the M1X and the answer is 11,082. Now to put that in perspective, that puts it nicely above the late 2017 14 core iMac Pro and just under the 12 core late 2019 Mac Pro. Now the second way I went about getting this range for the M1X's power was by taking the single core score of the M1 Max and you can't multiply it simply by the amount of cores this time as this would put you over 20,000 and when we look at the multi-core score compared to the single core score of the M1 Max it's about 4.34 times the single core score. Now even though the M1 chip has eight cores Geekbench seems to only be using the high performance cores as the multi-core score ends up being just around four four times the amount of the single core score. So using that logic, we can take the multi-core score and simply double it, giving us about 14,776, which means at best, this thing could be coming in at the 16 core 3.2 gigahertz processor in the Mac Pro from 2019. This performance, quite frankly, is insane. And that's not even taking into account that the MacBook Pro will have two fans, not one like in the MacBook Pro 13 inch and even the Mac mini, which has a larger, but only one fan. We'll see if my prediction was right. Let me know what your predictions are for the power we can expect to see from the M1X chip. Again, guys, let me know if you liked the video by leaving a like, subscribe, and click the bell so that you don't miss a single update as we cover your favorite tech and video games. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it's the Granite Geek Show.